Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much. Your love and support has enabled us to send your way another wealth of everyday psychology. So let's explore. Have you ever tried to help people who only ended up hurting you in the end? All too often, you try to change the ones you love because you think you see the good in them that they can't see in themselves. We make the mistake of assuming that everyone wants to be better and grow beyond where they are. But trying to help someone who can't even help themselves can feel a lot like taking one step forward and 10 steps back. Some people just don't change, especially if they don't want to. To help you identify them, here are seven common types of people you can't help. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is for educational purposes only. It's not intended to target or shame anyone, but to help everyone be more aware of our tendencies. If you find yourself relating to the points we mentioned, remember that admitting our faults is the first step to correcting these self-defeating behaviors. Number one, victim-minded people. Do you know what it means to have a victim mindset or to always be playing the victim? Have you ever come across those perpetual naysayers who are always looking to make excuses for their own bad behavior? This is what we call those who are forever pinning the blame on everyone but themselves, especially when things go wrong. They lack the emotional maturity to own up to their mistakes and hold themselves accountable. Their own choices and actions have led them to where they are now, but they refuse to see it. So no matter how hard you try, they're never going to change because in their eyes, nothing is ever their fault. Number two, self-righteous people. Narcissistic, egocentric, and sanctimonious. Have your pick. Such self-righteous people are know-it-alls who think they're perfect and have nothing at all to change or improve about themselves. Well, good for them. In fact, most of them even think it's everyone else who needs to step up and get better, not them. If only they knew. Their pride and closed-mindedness leads to their defensive and condescending attitudes. Every time you even try to point out their flaws or their shortcomings, their severe unwillingness to change comes from deep down inside where they're afraid to confront their own insecurities and see themselves as anything less than perfect. Number three, deceptive people. Dishonesty and deception, the greatest evil for any relationship, right? Often charming and persuasive, especially when they need something from you. Deceptive people cannot be trusted because they act one way in public and another in private. They're two-faced and manipulative. They tell you lies, cheat you, and even trick you into siding with them. Alas, you end up doing favors for them or giving in to their demands without even realizing it. Oh boy. So next time your gut tells you someone asking for help can't be trusted, it's important to be sure of their intentions before you lend them a hand. Number four, desperate people. Ruthless, cunning, and opportunistic. Call it what you want. A desperate person moves you to pity them and begs you for help. But beware, don't fall for it. These kinds of people are willing to do anything and everything just to get what they want, even if it means stabbing you in the back. They don't respect your boundaries. Rather, they abuse your generosity, time, and energy. The worst part is they're always asking for favors, but never paying you back, and they have no problem using your good nature against you. So instead of wasting your time trying to help someone like this, staying as far away as you can is probably the way to go. Number five, disloyal people. Are they quick to get angry at you over the littlest things? Or maybe they pick fights with you over nothing. Some people are just too disloyal for you to help. Though you may think that they're your friends, the truth is, you don't want someone disloyal in your life. They'll take other people's sides over yours or talk about you behind your back. They're unwilling to change and be better because they don't really care about you enough to try. They're more likely to lose interest in you and move on to something else rather than own up to their faults and learn from them. Number six, doubtful people. You might as well try moving a wall because it's that useless trying to help such people difficult to understand and accommodate. They're skeptical of everyone and everything good that comes their way. They're distrustful, pessimistic, harsh, and judgmental. And they never go along with any of your positivity, gratitude, or optimism because they'd rather sulk and criticize everything. And the worst part is, it probably won't be long before you start acting the same way too. 
Because if you get too close to people like this, they could end up getting in your head and filling you with doubt as well. Number seven, quitters. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, if you have someone in your life who's a notorious quitter, you're better off staying away from them than trying to change them. Whether it's a relationship, a career, or a personal goal, they can't commit to anything to save their life. No amount of kindness, generosity, or encouragement will get them to change their ways because they're so stuck in their loser mentality. They think that whatever they'll do, they'll either fail or need to work hard to succeed, so they'd rather quit while they're ahead than try in the first place. They're flaky, inconsistent, unmotivated, and usually just good at the beginning. It just isn't right giving your all for someone who isn't even willing to put themselves out there. So if they themselves aren't willing to change their ways and be better, then holding on to them will only leave you hurt, frustrated, and emotionally drained. And life is too precious to waste in the wrong company. We hope we were able to give you insight into some of the ways that you might be wasting your time and energy trying to help certain kinds of people. Do any of these describe your experience? Or did any of these points describe you? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there still battling. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.